Look, I'd like to give you work, but we don't need you. I just hope you're not expecting a siege soon. Why do you say that? Your defences are in bad repair. Be specific, man. The mortar in your walls has come away in places. This leaves an opening for a crowbar, and once there's a hole, it's easy to pull the entire wall down. Anything else? Yeah. The keep has an undercroft with a wooden door. If I were attacking the keep, I'd go through that door and start a fire in the stores. And if you were the Earl, how would you prevent that? I'd have a pile of stone ready shaped and a supply of sand and lime for mortar. And a mason standing by ready to block up that doorway in times of danger. Matthew, may I have a word with you? Well, we have a home. For now. Is that all right for you all? Of course. Alfred? Why are you asking me? Because you're a builder. I think you have a say in it too. It's fine with me. Grab your things, everyone, and follow me. It's time we put a roof over our heads. And thus, Tom Builder had finally found work. Little did we know then that it wouldn't last for long. It's good you sent your brother to tell your flock in St. John's about your nomination. If you'd gone yourself, they might not have let you leave again. There is a good chance I will return to St. John's after the election today. Why so pessimistic? Many of the brothers still want Remigius to become prior. Fellow. Yes? There was an incident with one of our novices. What kind of incident? Remigius caned him. He was bleeding all over. He could barely walk, but walk he did. He called out for him, but he did not turn around. He never looked back. He ran away? He is not the first. And it wasn't the first time Brother Marcus was punished either. Brother Marcus? Yes, he stole my keys and food. You reported him to Remigius. I did, but he is practically a child. <sighs> Remigius really goes too far. Last year, he hit a novice. The poor soul became deaf in one ear. <sighs> Tell me, Philip. What will be the first thing that you do when you're elected? We will repair the cathedral. And it's about time. Long overdue. If only we weren't in debt. How would we pay for the repairs? You cannot go in there. What was that? Who are these people? Hey! Step back. Step back, I say. What is going on out there? Soldiers? Did they start a war again? Those fools. Philip! It's Francis. They have Francis. Francis. They said they're looking for someone. They were questioning some of our brothers.
What is happening here? Return to your brothers, monk. We'll question you soon enough. What's your name? It would be easier for us all if you just came with us. <laughs> what about the child? Is it yours? <laughs> Francis. Like it or not, you'll be coming with us. What are you doing here? And who is... Who is that? I found him. In the woods. Hey! Hey! We fed him goat's milk and St. John's. Johnny Aitpence did. He says he misses you. He was always very sentimental. Hey! Philip, you must not tell these men my name. My Lord Robert of Gloucester believes me to be in Winchester. I gave the letter to the bishop. He said he'd help. Mercy on us. I was wrong to send you. I... What is it? These men are with the bishop. He is here, in Kingsbridge. The bishop is here? Hey, you two. You should listen when you're spoken to. Who are you? And what about the child? Did you make it? Did you two do it and make a little baby? <laughs> By God, you look so funny. Oh, come on, let me hold it. <laughs> a name, or both of your names. The come child on. is under my protection. Oh, is it now? <laughs> Good for you, Monk. What's your name? And don't pretend you can't talk, because I'm sick of listening to you. I am Philip. Philip of Gwyneth. Hmm. It's him we're looking for, not the other one. Monks, they all look alike. We were looking for you. Bishop Whalerun wants to see you. Oh. We found him. He's here. Tell the bishop. I found the monk. The bishop. Tell the bishop. Go on, monk. We'll all keep an eye on you. You will be safe. <laughs> <laughs> We've Stop come just for you, so move. What is going on here, Philip? I, I don't know. Philip. There you are. The right Reverend Bishop Whaler and Bygod. Philip and I are already acquainted. You were looking for me, my bishop? <coughs> I was. Remedius, Philip does look distressed, does he not? Yes, he does. Tell me, what is on your mind? Soldiers have invaded the Priory. Invaded? Oh, of course. I have gotten too used to the presence of knights and nobles. The work of the bishop. The reason why these men are outside right now is your letter, Philip. <sighs> As I suspected, it did convince my allies to go against the Earl of Shiring. These allies of mine insisted that their knights should accompany me along with their son. And very soon, they will ride against the Earl. I understand, my bishop. 
Philip, I have the feeling that there is a storm rising. Right here, in Kingsbridge. And in the eye of that storm stands one man. You. Around you, things... things begin moving. Don't they, Remigius? Yes. But there is one important thing you have kept from me. There is? My bishop! You did not mention that you, Philip, were nominated to be prior of Kingsbridge. I... The brothers here will elect their new prior today, will they not? The election will take place in a few hours, my bishop. We need a strong prior. James was my friend, but a strong prior he was not. We are in agreement on these matters, are we not, Remigius? Of course, right, Reverend. Uh, the bishop and I agreed you should have this. Very well. Now, when your distinguished guests arrive, what will be the subject of your first sermon as the new prior of Kingsbridge? I think what I would talk about is... I beg your forgiveness, but I do not understand. Most of your brothers agree with me on this matter. Remigius has talked to them. They will vote for you. As will I. And I will support you in your duties in my role as sub-prior. A role you have fulfilled wonderfully in the past, Remigius. Wonderfully. My bishop? Philip of Gwyneth. You will be the new prior of Kingsbury. In humbleness, I stand before you, most humbled by your trust and humbled by the great tasks ahead of us. We must restore Kingsbridge to do justice to the glory of God and to his mercy. The desperate and the hopeless everywhere shall hear our bells. They shall see our towering cathedral. Our great church will become a guiding light, the first and foremost, through our actions and our faith, we ourselves shall be such a light, a light to the lost, the hurt, and the suffering on their path to God. The Earl of Shiring is not in attendance, it seems. He is not. Shameful. He's busy preparing his siege on Winchester. I trust he does not know we are about to foil his plans, Percy. Answer the bishop, my husband. No, no, he does not expect us, not at all. My men are ready. So is our son. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. 